hi everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i hope you're doing great it is a beautiful morning here in nigeria i hope you guys slept well because i absolutely enjoyed my sleep i slept like a baby it was so wonderful and so peaceful but i am up and early this morning because i wanted to do some laundry if you are new here my name is justina i am a nigerian born and raised i am a mom of three i have two boys and my princess <laughs> the princess of the house anyway guys at the moment we are in nigeria enjoying our time with our families and just enjoying our you know each other company and catching up with family and all that extended family so this morning i am up and early because i wanted to do laundry traditional <laughs> traditional way of doing laundry in my last video a couple of you were telling me what is going on with my throat i will like i don't even know because every each time i visit nigeria i don't know if it's the weather actually my mom was saying this the other day she said each time you come to nigeria you lose your voice i don't know what it is like, like whenever i land in nigeria a couple of days i will lose my voice i don't even know why or what is behind it but yeah my voice is kind of everywhere at the moment but it is coming back now because the past few days it was like <laughs> i was <laughs> i was talking like an elephant but yeah guys i am doing laundry the secret about doing laundry in nigeria is do not let it to get get too big do it every two two days or every 30 days now there's a washing machine downstairs the nigerian washing machine but the thing is that the light is another different thing we have solar in this house we recently we actually put the solar because we were coming home the last time we were here there was no solar we bought petrol like crazy because then you need to put petrol in your generator to get constant light so we bought it like crazy but this time we're like let's invent invent invest invest in solar i'm biting my tongue so we did it has been wonderful i love the solar i might do a, a separate video about the solar if you guys are from nigeria and you want to you know get your solar done I might do a separate video about it anyway i am doing my laundry and yeah that is all i want to do this morning immediately i woke up the only thing that came to my mind is laundry because sometimes the light comes on and if you say let you go put your laundry in the washing machine immediately you're putting it the light might go off and the solar is not for the solar we did is light two uh, one fridge and one freezer one f one you know the normal fridge the double door fridge that has freezer and then the chest of freezer so we did that and then light and all the fans in the house but this um the solar do not take the air condition the air condition comes on when the light comes on so the solar takes all the standing fan we have we have about we have about seven standing fan or eight eight standing fan because two rooms downstairs have a fan dining room have a fan tray sitting room have a fan four upstairs the four room here have a fan so it's eight standing fan all together in the house so the solar takes all the fan and takes the the big fridge you know the double door fridge with freezer and then takes one chest chest of freezer and that is all like you can also do a solar that can also take um a condition is more money anyway but yeah anyway welcome and i hope you have enjoyed the vlog
so at this point I am finished with washing I am out here to spread out the clothes now throughout the washing and spreading out the clothes my families are still sleeping the kids are still sleeping my mom are still sleeping my tree this is a nephew that came with my mom are still sleeping I am a morning person I for some reason I can't sleep in the morning I don't know why but it is my system I can't sleep once it's five or six my eyes is wide open so yeah I am putting out the clothes now to dry So at this moment, people are kind of awake. My mom woke up because she heard my voice. I mean, she heard me opening the door and all that. And she was like, you do not sleep. <laughs> so now we are thinking about Brecky. No, this is my co-wife. My co-wife was telling me how she went to buy the gas, the cooking gas, because here you need to take the cylinder and go buy it yourself. And telling me the story behind her buying the the uh, uh, gas cooker Hey, I reply message, my water message. You cannot be serious. So at this point, my co-wife have left the house. Uh, the husband is gone now and my co-wife has left because they have big business here in Lagos. They import uh, lovely shoes, men's shoes, women's shoes and all that. So they do go out every morning and come back in the evening. They are running their business. So this is my mom. I'm here to greet my mom. And when I came in, the light was kind of off. And I was telling her, why are you in the dark? <laughs> but yeah, we are here to greet my mom. I am here with Killian. Killian is my last child. And we are here to greet her. And I was also telling her that Killian was kind of running time pressure and all that. I brought my boy in the what if what if for one man what so now my mom is out of the room and I am calling my nieces and nephew because I want to start making them brekkie. I absolutely love serving my mother. I really miss her. I really spend the time with her. I really miss just cooking for her and caring for her. So now she's here. 
I am going to cook and care for her and spend some quality time with my mom. If you don't know, I am the only girl my mom has. She has eight boys and I am the only girl. So I kind of miss that because growing up, she was like the other sister that I didn't have. And yeah, we spend a lot of time together. So yeah, I am making baraki at this time. I'm sorry if I'm speaking too much evil in this video. I need to catch up on my evil because I feel like <laughs> I'm losing my language because I don't speak it enough. Now, what I'm talking about in this uh, clip is I was asking Killian, my last son, and Emmanuel, my brother's son, why do they always have to sleep in my bed? They should go to the other room. But every night, these people will just lie down there and pretend that I don't exist. And I'll be like, please go to your room. And they will just ignore me. Like, these people will ignore me. And both of them are such a terrible sleeper because then when I woke oh, up, the duvet and everything is kicked out. I keep, you know, putting the duvet over them because each time I wake up, the duvet is on, on another side. But yeah, that is what I was asking them, that they did not ask me for permission before sleeping on my bed. <laughs> Now, I called my mother in to come and see this kitchen because she has not really entered inside it. The other day they came, she kind of passed by it and I know she was just looking at it, but she doesn't. My mother has not seen this kitchen and I was asking her, what do you think? I said, she was like, oh, wow. And I was saying to her, no, this is, I think she said something about, I don't know what she said. And I was like, no, this is not how it was when you came the other time. Everything is, everything in this kitchen was moved out and the whole stuff was renovated so we're kind of talking about the kitchen and how it looks and i noticed that she has not come inside because i kept serving her i kept bringing food to the room or on the dining table and she has not really stepped she has kind of looked at it but she has not really stepped fully her foot inside there so i was like you need to come inside and see this kitchen i was showing her everything in the kitchen and we're kind of having a conversation with about the kitchen and also me personally i have only seen the kitchen yeah, when i arrive in um nigeria i have seen the video of it but seeing it in person this is the first time of me seeing it in person i only saw the you know video of it after the kitchen was finished and they sent videos of it and throughout the renovation they were sending the videos of it but this is now me seeing it i told her to go look at where the plates are the rack where the the building rack where they put the 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 plate and she's just looking at it so yeah we're just having a conversation about the kitchen and how the kitchen looks i didn't what are you doing to this leave, leave the plate here. put it in the sink but then she has a broad idea to push me off all oh, right that's a good idea elise go Brother, can you say? Eh, eh, it's a good boy. Eh? Is it not for? Oh, you will go a little bread, but a tire. Eh? Eh, you were here. 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 You were yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So after Bracky, I decided to dive in into making lunch immediately because I just want to cook and go relax and talk with my mother. So I want to cook and I don't want Ada. Ada is there. He's my brother's uh, first daughter that came with my mom. I don't want her to cook because I heard Ada is the cook in the house. So I'm like, Ada, you need to have a rest. You're on a holiday and you need to just relax. Just relax. Your auntie got this. I love cooking. And I just want to spend time in this kitchen, to be honest. <laughs> I just want to spend as much time as I can in this kitchen. It feels good to be in this kitchen. It feels good to cook in this kitchen, I must say. But yeah, I'm trying to make lunch so I can just go and chill with my mother and yeah, and have conversations. <laughs> So I made spaghetti and sweet potato. Now Nigerian sweet potato is white. It is not uh, pink. Is it pink or red? Our one in Ireland is pink, but the one we get here in Nigeria is white, and it is so sweet. I'm not joking. It's so sweet. Anyway, we are on holiday. There is no way I could um, I could get all the ingredients that we use in Ireland for our healthy diet but i would try um as much as i can to uh cooperate healthy eating even if it's the traditional okra and all that and a uh, nigerian vegetable uh, soup but then the auntie my co-wife is kind of on my neck telling me to drop it drop let them have fun and move on when you get back to ireland you can go back to your healthy eating she kept saying they are not, they are on holiday so don't don't do that here they are on holiday that's what she the other night 
I, I gave them a uh, fufu with a lovely uh, vegetable soup. And when the auntie came back, the auntie was like, do you want noodles? And they were like, yes, we do. And I was like, don't bother yourself. They have eaten. They have eaten. She's like, no, they want noodles. And they're going to get noodles. So <laughs> my co-wife made them noodles. So, uh, yeah, she's like, your healthy eating can continue when you get back to Ireland. Now you need to let them breathe. You need to let them enjoy their holidays. Anyway, guys, I am done with the food. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please do not forget to give a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And 